A designer whose work I follow for many years used to talk a lot about making the invisible visible. Perhaps what makes photographers unique from other visual artists is that we will climb, crouch, and crawl through mud to find a unique perspective, to make something visible that hasn't been seen before. Sometimes these aerial images are planned and other times they're more of a spontaneous curiosity. I try to shoot on days when I can catch some dramatic sunlight that creates interesting contrast and shadows. In order to make larger prints of the drone photographs, I try not to crop them at all when I'm shooting, so that usually means a bit of back and forth on the controls, tweaking the composition again and again until it's exactly the way I want the finished image to look. Obviously, my digital cameras shoot in color, but I've been shooting long enough to have a pretty good idea how color images will translate into a final black and white photograph. Some photographers call this pre-visualizing, and it's really just a matter of imagining things like how the yellows or blues might look converted to black and white, especially if I use a filter to emphasize one tone over another. Once I get the images home, I import them into my computer using a program called Adobe Lightroom. Lightroom is really the only tool I use for my images. I don't shoot a large volume of photographs, so I'll usually scroll through the ones that I have really quickly and mark one or two that might look interesting. From there, my editing process is essentially converting the image from color to black and white, and then deciding whether I need to adjust the contrast, highlights, or shadows. Printing photographs might seem simple, but it really is an art in itself. My images are printed using a special technique called piezography. Instead of the basic black and white inks that a normal printer has, piezography also replaces the color inks with up to 11 special shades of gray. The result is a print that has a wider tonal range and more detail than a normal printer might create. Since piezography can be pretty complex, I often send my images off to a professional print expert. But over the last two years, I built my own piezography setup as well so that I can make prints at home. It's really satisfying to see an idea become a digital image and then see that digital image become a physical print. I've almost started to feel like my images don't truly exist until they're printed. I look around Detroit and see people coming in from all over the country, from all over the world, really, curious to find out what Detroit is about, curious about the culture, the energy, the vibe, the people. They aren't just coming here to visit. People are putting down roots here. Folks who left are coming back. And those who never left, they knew all along what the rest of the world is finally rediscovering that Detroit is much more than a flyover city. Detroit is home. Detroit is real. Detroit is beautiful. Through photography, 
I love having the chance to contribute to that narrative.